wish we stayed the same I got way too many thoughts in my brain But I got memories that run through my veins mm -hmm. I'm not one to blame But I could point out every way that you change Some things stay up while others go right down the drain And lately we've been going down in flames But if I'm honest, I get in my feels when I want you Say you feel it too, I'll haunt you Hold on to I'm lost in the fire But if I'm honest, I get in my feels when I want you Say you feel it too, I'll haunt you Hold on to I'm lost in the fire But if I'm All right, what's up, Twitch? Let's jump right into it. Uh, whoops, wrong one. There we go. All right, I am back. What's up? Boop. You guys still there? Yeah. Hey, Yar. I'm thinking, what's, what's message that? Oh, it's you messaging me, DJ. <laughs> mm, yar. All right, let me make sure this is properly captured on screen window capture. Yeah, so I shared my screen. That's the screen I'll be, I've got as the spare screen plugged in, so any personal stuff I can put on my laptop and I've plugged this into it. Got it's it. got a separate screen to share. Let me crop it a little better. A little better crop here. Don't mind my little sound effects. Oops, a little too big, a little too big. Who's that? Majestic. Thanks for the follow, Majestic. Oops, sorry, I should have had uh, this cropping is a little strange. There we go, that should be good enough. Hey, Majestic. All right. Huh? <laughs> Majestic is Holly. Holly. Holly and the yeah, Holly. Hey, Holly. So who's That's here? Simon's friend. here. Maria Mariana's here. Kara, what's up? DJ, anybody else? I can't see the full list of people, but oh, I could have just done that. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Gotta give me a minute. Two. There we go. That's how I want it. All That's right. Like oh, one second. <laughs> Close my door. Hold on. Dif it's a different resolution to yours. I guess it doesn't have the the little uh, bar at the bottom. <clears throat> okay. Oh. False alarm. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Who wants to make skyboxes? So huh. first thing first thing I want to find out is who has these programs download, downloaded that I recommended. So um, do any of you have Creator yet? Or do we need some links? Or do you have a, your own personal painting program? So that's you guys that are listening. Sorry to interrupt. Thank you for the, for the uh, what is this? Gifted Phantom. Oh, yeah. gifted a tier um, one sub. Haha, <laughs> nice. This is a... uh, sorry, Alice, we had to acknowledge the... Yeah. Uh... And as you're talking... <laughs> the sub. And I'll try not to interrupt you uh, from here on out. But as you're... Uh, I'm going to type in the chat, like the programs, or maybe I'll put it on the screen as well for people yeah. watching later or something like that. I don't know. So yeah. um, what was the programs you were talking about? So the one I've got here is Krita, and that's the one I'm going to use just to paint in. Um, 
And there are better programs, but the main reason why I've picked this one is because it's free. So I'm not going to make people buy anything. Um, and it's got different paintings. It's got so it's got mirroring, um, so symmetry in there, and some different paintbrushes that we can use to kind of paint the skybox. We've got a transform tool, so your essentials really um, for a painting program. Other things I normally use is Photoshop CS6, which I don't expect most of you to have. If you wanted an alternative, GIMP is an alternative, but it's a little harder to use. But that's a free alternative to Photoshop. But I can come over and put this in the chat as well. So. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Let me go. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, so this is a free painting program we use so I would just use new <laughs> create a new file I don't know who's got this already installed so it might wait before starting if anybody can see yes or no I've got this I haven't got this <laughs> I think everyone's muted yeah do you want them to stay muted or are they allowed to talk they're allowed to talk we're allowed to talk hey you guys can Hi. talk <laughs> Please talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mariana. Yeah. So, do you guys have this program or not? I do not. Mariana, do you have it? No, I do not. I have no idea. I'm a noob, so. All right. Do you have, do you have any kind of. Mm -hmm. so that's free and it's very quick to download. So, if you wanted to download it. Yeah, there's there's time right now. It's it's quick. It's easy. It's the link is in um, the chat in oh. Twitch and the chat that's linked to this voice channel as well. So very cool. Very cool. Yeah, just put put it over here. Oh. Yes. For using this in particular, you always use your pen, or you can use your mouse. You can use your mouse. I'm using a mouse okay. right now, but I can use a pen. I'm using a mouse to show you what's... You can use okay. whatever you want. Cool, cool. So, if I use my pen, it's like this. Jumps around. If I'm using my mouse, it's like this. I use both. <laughs> but, um, so, Windows installer. So, Windows 8.1 or higher, most people have that. Most people have all these. Um... But you can use your mouse and draw with it. I mean, you can use paint if you want, although that is grueling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alice, is this going to be recorded? Yes. Thank yes, you. It's on DJ's, DJ's Twitch channel, VR Church Twitch channel. So. Okay. Oh, yes. And everybody should do. Yep. Uh, just a public announcement. Yeah. I am streaming. So just to. Yes. Everyone knows it. Which doesn't, you know, feel free to chat or talk. I was just making sure everybody knew they were being recorded. Awesome. So, do you guys want to download something or do you just want me to show you? Do you want to paint along? Um, up to everyone else. I'm kind of more like a watch and then do later. or But maybe people like to do while you're doing it. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, I'd, I'd love you guys to join in and do this at the same time. <laughs> I guess since I'm streaming, I'll just watch, but other people can. Yeah. I'll be watching since I'm on my phone. But... Oh, you're only on your phone. Okay. Yeah. What about Simon and Carol? Jenna, probably... thanks for the follow, Jenna. Sorry. I'll, I'll probably <laughs> just watch along because I don't have Krita. I have a Photoshop. You've got Photoshop, same principles. Same right. uh, with any program. I picked this one just because it's free. <laughs> I understand. But, yeah, I've got better painting programs on my computer. But yeah, so, all right, I'll show you guys. So when I'm creating a new document, the first thing I want to make sure is that the width is double the height and that it's quite a large resolution. Otherwise, when you bring it into your space, it will be quite blurry. So initially I've put 4,000 by 2,000. That's kind of the absolute minimum size I want for a skybox. So and I've got 300, 300 pixels per inch. So I've created that. And obviously just come up 
with a blank slate. So I've got this mirror thing here and this is kind of the horizon line where we want our skybox to be. So And can we ask questions along the way or should we wait Yes. We can ask along the way. Yes, so the you said the width double the height or the height double the width. Which one is it? So the width is gotta be twice as wide as it is tall. So it's like two squares basically next to each other. So two, Okay. And then is that number that you had in there the recommended number? That'll be the minimum that I would have it as. Otherwise it's going to be blurry once you put it in your space. And what was the minimum number again? Uh, so I've put two thousand up and then four thousand across. Oh perfect. And that's in pixels. Cool. And then 300 dpi 300 dpi pix 300 pixels per inch Sorry. Gotcha. Yep. so once you, once you get this program it's an interesting one all the well the only thing i'd use in the moment is paint and erasers erasers and rubbers they rub things out for english people <laughs> <laughs> for americans it's just a razor <laughs> Eraser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Eras eraser. You can tell me to shut up if I'm just talking too much. <laughs> no. to totally feel free. <laughs> so, um, that's one thing. You've got to find your horizon line. Anything below here, um, anything on this half, I'm painting opposites anyway. But that's not do. And when you say you got to find your horizon line, does that just mean? That's the absolute center. So, this mirror absolute line center. here is the absolute center is there a way to is... auto and since i'm such a noob is there a way to auto create a horizon line like like can you um, put a ruler that says this is exactly halfway or are you just eyeballing halfway on this one because i've got this little mirror thing here so this is a symmetry tool this is automatically halfway up but um, um. I don't know about in this program in Photoshop, you can use rulers if you've got Photoshop in other programs you can. I know in some of my, I know in um, Realistic Paint Studio that has a ruler. I don't know about this one because I don't use it too often. Um, but some programs do, other programs, it'll just be halfway up. But you can't get it too wrong. Hmm. And sometimes it's good just to paint some mountains or something along your horizon line like that so another thing is what i'm probably going to do is open in here and then is, w w as you're mirroring it so when in, in yeah. the alt space world is it technically mirrored like we don't see the lower horizon part but it's technically no. there uh, no you can paint it so um you can get these grids to help you so I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. I see. So there's this grid, which I can also post. If you just look up um, 360 elliptical image grid. So you see where I've had that mirror, that line there is in the center of the horizon. I and then see. it's kind of warped. Yeah, so yeah. where these warped lines are, that would make up a cube. And... Um, is that's that a, kind of your guide for painting. Is that a graphic you can provide for for like post uh, yes. the file of the graphic? So I'll post these files in the Discord. So, Wonderful. So I'll post these there and I'll post mm -hmm. an example of a picture of a room that's 360 just so you can see how it warps it. Because um, you know this is going to be a square room or, an, or a rectangular room. I don't know if you can show that on stream, <laughs> but I can bring it over. But there's like this rectangular component to it. So when I'm painting, I've got to bear in mind that if I create a new one here, and I'm painting my ground, for instance, I've got to be, let's take this mirror off because it's going to, Oh, I'll be aware that this here, if I paint along here, 
even though it's this shape, it's all going to be kind of one solid square. So that's the ground. And you yeah, go along so this the is... lines because the, the, the skybox warps around, right? Yeah, so this warps around. Anything like down here will be really, really warped. Uh, so, gotcha. But it's not often this gets seen anyway because in alt space you have some ground and anything that's really below here doesn't get seen that often. The times you will see it is if you're on the edge of a bit of ground and looking down the skybox if there's a hole in the ground. Okay. Yeah, so this you don't need to focus on that much, but you can there. Uh, I've just gone above the horizon there, but you, it doesn't matter too much because when you paint ground, you kind of want to paint some mountains in anyway. Do that. Gen and my mountain, yeah. Hmm? Jenna and Majestic say hello from Twitch. Hi. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, guys? So here I've put the mirror tool on. Just so when I'm drawing a mountain here, it matches here because these two edges are going to be joined together. We'll fix it up afterwards, uh -huh. but they're going to be joined together. And this is probably the absolute highest I want my mountains to go um, there because it's that's going to be really stretched into the sky. So Anything about you put three fourths up is the highest a mountain goes. Yeah, but in reality, you want them about this high, really. Okay, just you only want them just, just... A touch, huh? Okay. Yeah, so this will look like quite a big mountain, but ah. this will be almost stretching into the sky. And I can almost give an example on alt space. No. So I get to <coughs> my skybox. Sites. Some people have. These are the ones in that space. Okay, so this one. So this one looks cool here. It's paint, drawn on paper and just imported in. Um, but this looks really, really bad in the world. Mm. <laughs> because these mountains kind of warp all the way up into the sky and they don't look like mountains they just take up the entire space completely so it looks and, good 2d but doesn't look good yeah. 3d gotcha yeah and this is version 2 where i made them smaller and these still look like these look like they're swished down here but actually in the space they still looked really tall so these mm -hmm. are like the very tallest i would recommend Ah, them down. And I think Alina's seen this skybox in this space before. Alina, <laughs> what's up? So Alina can go. Alina can comment on it. Alina's seen this in space and how oh, these mountains yes. it's really, amazing. really stretch. <laughs> it <laughs> it's is. Like it's, it's amazing. incredibly beautiful. <laughs> but the mountains really <laughs> stretch, right? <laughs> so. Yes, yes. They look like the, the, it looks like regular mountains. The taller. It looks like the original version you had, essentially. Um, yeah. Before you squish them down. Yeah. Yeah. So squishing them down makes it look closer to that original <laughs> painting in the actual space because it stretches. Um, yeah. So if I copy this image and put it in the space because this is what I've put on Discord. This will paste, will it paste, will it paste? Come on. Let's try copying again. <laughs> Copy image. Alice, I have to step away for a minute, but keep going. But I'll be muted. All right. Uh, well, that's not pasting very well. Let's No, no. Well, if you look in the Discord, there's a picture of a room, and you can see how how much of the space the ceiling and the floor takes up compared to the walls. It's almost so the floor takes up, um, you know, more than a third of the space. So, so that's basically it. That's that's basically it with skyboxes. 
Um, so if painting one, if I wanted to paint one, I would put my mirror there. I'm going to select some brushes. What kind of skybox would you like? Any boats or ideas on what kind of skybox to do? Like water, moon. I was just thinking like um, moon or outer space kind of deal. I don't think we have like a really cool, like you're in space, view from space. Views from space, so you want to view on space. where the ground is the moon or like the actual Yeah, well that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. And sorry, I missed a large chunk of this. I, I had a phone call come in um that I had to take. As a matter of fact, you taught the person who called me for about five minutes as I was fumbling to figure out how to hang up the call <laughs> and your, your teaching was coming over our voice call, but so I'll catch up though. I'll rewatch this on the video. Ooh. All right. These will kind of be like little bumps in the ground. Cause you don't want to completely flat the ground. That's kind of, well, sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> but... That's just what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take a normal paintbrush and move that. I'm going to keep this so it's the same either side and we can touch it up later. But it's good to have these edges similar or mirrored. The moon kind of skybox. It's crazy how quickly you just make these things happen. Fill it in. <laughs> I've just, I've only, yeah, this is only the base. So. Yeah, I know. And it looks so simple, but that would, what you've done here would probably take me two hours. <laughs> I'm going to put some color in the sky. <laughs> so who doesn't love like a supernova type thing? So yeah. This is like, uh, what's that uh, famous painter's name? I feel like I'm watching. Um... Remember? Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah, Bob oh, Ross. Yeah. Just a little flutter yeah. of butterflies here. Just touch the canvas in this voice. Mm -hmm. Silky. Her I, don't, I don't quite have a silky. Uh... Here, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little flutter. So... Just touch the Kiss it. Kiss the canvas. So this will make a circle in the sky. Because um, this, this meets that end. Um, this stuff touches this basically it will make this line flat line here will make kind of a circle in the sky um, even though it doesn't look like it now <laughs> mm. that's kind of the image it should make and it's hard to tell what exactly it's going to look like until and you're changing it's... purples for like shading or something yeah so um you know, creating a space sky. It doesn't have to be all completely black. <laughs> we'll need some interesting colours in there. Yeah. I'm going to take that mirror off. Now, my mm, what so. question to ask? Let's. I'm just going, looking at it from the newbie's perspective. Is there? You probably should find a good Krita tutorial because you're like it looks like you're proficient, yeah. right? So you're 
grabbing colors, you're changing brushes. Mm. I think many of us would be like, how do I even change the brush? <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe we should yeah, find so a I'm, tutorial. Maybe. I never used the tutorial. I just kind of um, grabbed what I could. It's quite an easy program to use. Oh, okay. Excellent. Um, it's quite straightforward because this is already up here when you start up as a default. So that's a normal color wheel. And then you've got all your layers, which are the same as if you've used any other paint program, you'll have it. You might need a tutorial if you've never used a paint program. The only thing that's really different is how the brushes are stored. So this is drop down that you have to click on to get to the different erasers. Normally in most programs, an eraser is like a separate tool to a paintbrush, but here it is a paintbrush. That's the only difference. I'd say compared to normal brushes, you've got some other cool things in here. I can do this, <laughs> even though it looks weird. Um, so I'd say just playing around with it is better than a tutorial, really. Oh, okay. That's just what I'd recommend. Um, but it's up to you. <laughs> um. Yeah, I've just got a watercolour brush here that's going on top of those weird strokes. <laughs> yeah, just soften the edges. Yeah, it darkens it up a bit. Because we're in outer space, you know. Mm. We'll have this big purple supernova thing that's going to be warped in the sky. But uh, let me turn the opacity down, the brush size up a bit. So that will soften it if I turn this opacity down, which is... Uh -huh. um, that's like a watercolour, right? Yeah, so it's a bit like a watercolour brush. And just so you know, I am absolutely rubbish at watercolours in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I can't wait to see this, like, in mm. VR. You never know what it will look like. <laughs> like yeah. you know, but it's, it's hard to tell what it will look like, but... Mm -hmm. you know. Some blue in the background. There we go. All right. I'm going to start a new layer. I'm going to move this layer down so I can move the layers. Layer. Layer. I, I feel like we need some lo fi here. I'm going to hit that up. Yes, please. Um, it, that's you down there on the moon, DJ? Hmm? Uh uh. <laughs> Yeah, what? you guys are collaborating. You're doing is that you down on the moon mm -hmm. surface, or is that us? Uh, no, that's us. Lo fi, I was I just added some music to the stream, a little lo fi. Oh, okay. Just as soon as you said that, she started painting down low on the moon surface, and so I was like, <laughs> what? Are you doing uh, that? A little bit of delay, but. <clears throat> Oh, so it look, doesn't look too weird. Yeah. I can hear myself a little bit. <laughs>
No, undo. <laughs> what I need as well is a light source. So if I take this off, I don't know how bad, how good or bad this is gonna look. There. If I put it up there, it's gonna wanna warp. So. And this normally, um, when you finish a skybox, you want this to be near the centre, but we're going to swap these edges to the centre edges soon to... I don't know how much of this, of this is going to make a circle, but... <laughs> it's kind of eyeballing it um, because it gets because near the top it kind of gets squished you want to stretch it a little <laughs> so a lot of experimentation to, to figure it out and eventually you'll kind of get the feel for it but even so, even afterwards, you may have to go back and edit after you see it in VR and go, oh, this needs to be shorter, this needs to be longer. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of that. Um, if you pay for Photoshop Creative Cloud, which I don't, because it's extremely expensive, um, it actually lets you paint in 360 degrees, so you don't have to worry about it Whoa. being squished or too round or anything like that. There's a feature where... You can wow. paint. Oh. But and I what app is that? That's Photoshop. So Photoshop, Adobe Creative Cloud. If you've got all those, mm. you can. And how does that? <laughs> how do you? What's the layout look like? It's still on the two D screen, right? Yeah, does it's it... still on the still. Yeah, but you can kind of move. I don't use it because I don't want to pay a monthly subscription. <laughs> Um, it's an expensive monthly prescription. Uh, I can't say the word. <laughs> Subscription. Mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of this square space and you move around the space, but it doesn't have all this warping. So you have a 2D. So you're looking through like a camera lens at the space and you're painting through that ca camera lens, if that makes sense, or a window. Mm -hmm. oh, um, and you move, instead of moving the actual image like i move this along the screen like this which is natural so i'm just pressing space bar and <laughs> jumping across um that box always stays in that position it always stays in the position of this box and then when you move it it rotates the image around Phantom has a question, and then I have a follow-up question. He says, I wonder if Blender could do it painting on the inside of a sphere. Do you think that'd be possible? I think so, yeah. So, I mean, you can paint in Blender, and you can paint on 3D objects. So, I've not experimented that far with that, but and then I believe my, it could. My <laughs> question is, and I can't think of them now at the moment, but are there painting programs in VR that you could paint and export, or uh, I can't think of anything. Everything's 2D, right? If you want to paint in 3D, um, you can't, well, there's nothing that I know of to paint a, a skybox, but you can kind of paint into a brush and build around, like make a 3D but you can, you can't can, export yeah. it as a skybox, right? No, you can't. Um, you can export it as an object and then bring that 3D object into a space, but um, not a skybox itself. Um, likewise with any 3D drawing programs. Yeah. That looks really weird right now. It looks like an egg. <laughs> what? 
but we'll see what it looks like in VR. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still just in awe because it already looks so cool um, of just how quickly you create this. Uh, this is just a quickie, <laughs> you know. I don't want to keep you here too much. No, but it looks amazing. Well, thank you. Ignore that. That was supposed to be a shooting star. Um, that didn't go very well. We'll try again. <laughs> a shooting star. Yeah. Or asteroid destroying Earth. Mm. We'll just rub it out and try again. Wait. That is far too big of a paintbrush. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I so like that choice of paintbrush. Um, maybe obviously smaller, but the way it has the the jaggedness to it. <laughs> Is really cool. Ooh. Yeah. It's fancy. Alice, what kind of graphics tablet do you use? I have a Huey on something or other. <laughs> um, it's a Huey on tablet. Uh, I don't know what type though. Because I just bought it when it was on sale. <laughs> what size? Size. Um, it's one with a screen on it. And it's like 12 inches ish. I think 12 or 13. I'm not sure. That's at the pixel level. <laughs> Oh, cool. I just cool. realized it's shooting up, isn't it? Oh, well, we're in space, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want some definition on these things. So let me have a look. So if we're coming on this way, the light's probably coming done on this side so that means on this side there's gonna be see shadows are really awkward in um painting this as well so here the shadows are gonna be like here yeah. <laughs> <Fish. laughs> mm. While I'm putting a shadow on this side of the thing, I'm probably gonna I wanna put it on this side of the thing. <laughs> oh, no. 
which is super awkward. It's just super awkward. <laughs> it's the coldest. It's hey, coldest. coldest? Uh, I think I'm late. What up, coldest? Coldest, there's still time to paint with us. You can do a painting in five minutes, right? <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> while while I struggle with these shadows for an hour or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like uh. it looks. Fa <laughs> Where's the Martian going? You want to put Martian in here? The Martian will build in three D and add to the space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We Ah, uh, yes, the snow. The snow, it's supposed to be highlights. But... Highlights? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, we could by all means have snow. Alright. So, I'm just gonna give this a quick save. I have not saved this at all. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? No! Yeah, I just call it Moon Sky for now. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is say I'm happy with this. If it was, if I wasn't taking up your time, I'd probably mooch on it for ages. But I am just gonna flatten the image. Flatten. Just... And what <laughs> does that mean that... when you when you flatten it? Um. So originally, all of, I had all these different layers. Mm -hmm to manage um, and you can only select to move one layer at a time move it around but by flattening it I've merged all that stuff I've lost all that layer information so I can't actually change the transparency or anything of the layers so and why would this why would you want to flatten it um so I'd want to flatten it for this next step so I'm going to duplicate the layer mm -hmm. and this is so some sky boxes they have a line down the middle and this is what we want uh, to try and prevent. So Yes, the infamous skybox line. Yeah, so what I want to do is I'm going to go Control and A. Um, you don't have to do that on some programs, but I'm going to use the Move tool. And I am going to move this. I'm moving the one that's underneath the layer. So I'm going to move it there roughly. I can move it again later, so I'm going to Control and A. No, it's, control it's behind T. it. Yeah. So control it. Behind it. Okay. Yeah. You oh, see I that? See, yep. Yeah. So what I want to do is this is snapping, which is good, because what I want to do is make sure when I'm moving this, it's exactly on the bottom and exactly on the top, mm -hmm. which is good. That is in place, and I'm just going to. Zoom up and then go control A, control T. That is not done it. <laughs> and I want to make sure this is joined onto here. So. I'm gonna get it as exact as possible. 
Hey, BNF um, SMF on Twitch. Thanks for that. <laughs> so once once that's exactly in place, you should see no line. Oh, I've just moved it. <laughs> so, you should see no line underneath no line on top hopefully it's in the exact space i'm just going to press enter so it, it so on the 2d image wait doesn't it seem off right there or no? yes that is off that's what i'm gonna and so on the left and right sides of the whole image in the skybox, you would see that line. But because you off-centered yeah. it and connected into the middle, the edges mm -hmm. are now connected. So these are now, this is where the line was. Um, there will be no line here because it's the same image and you've just drawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw over this. And you can see it's kind of mirrored here. So, so, oh, so there would be a line technically right now if you imported it, right? Yes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over it. Ah, interesting, interesting. Let's see if we can find that waterfall brush again. Full of these, I think. That's not the right one. <laughs> it's this one. I'm just going to... That's also not the right one. What one did I use? This one? No. Not the There we go. So I don't use this program often. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some marks in the middle just to make sure it looks like it isn't mirrored. To make it look like it's not mirrored. I'm going to take the opacity down on this layer. Ah, okay. Well. I was wondering what you were going to do. So you can see it looks. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, that looked a bit weird for a second, right? <laughs> but if I take the ah, so down. blending essentially, right? Yeah, so I'm blend, essentially. Blend. I because I don't want it ah, to so... look like these two yeah. were joined. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. I assume the darker sky would help that more than a lighter yeah. sky yeah so if i had a lot of lighter sky i would paint over this a lot more which is what i'm gonna do i am gonna paint over this as well so i've got a bit of a line here you can see that we don't really want because oh. <laughs> we don't oh. really want that hard line so um, i am gonna paint over it but one thing i can do that i also can show you is if if i merge everything again so flatten, flatten image there we go um i would only use this for small sections because it takes a lot so maybe say i, I wanted to get rid of the star i you can do it for lines down the middle but this is like some sometimes it's used as like a plaster or band-aid in american <laughs> where it's like patching up so that just got rid of that star automatically you see mm -hmm. so I could do it to this line, it might crash the computer, but we'll see if this much <laughs> destroys it, but there you go. It looks like I'm just painting in pink, but yeah, so that's quite a lot. Smart patch has come up with, and there we go. It's mm. tried to patch that up the best it could. It's not got my purple lines there, but it's tried to patch it up in the best way the computer can kind of have them in. Interesting. I'm going to get my eyedropper tool <laughs> that picks the colour. So that's like a little colour picker. So I'm going to choose the same purple. <laughs> wow. And then just kind of paint over that. Forehand I had a I was wondering why the lo-fi music channel was jamming and it was accidentally on EDM <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> kind of funny. I was like, man, why is it so jammy? Yeah. Alice, can you put this up in an alt space world so we can actually look at it? 
Yes, that would be my plan. I would. I need to see what it looks like as well. It might look absolutely rubbish. It might look absolutely brilliant. We we have no idea until it's in the space. Mm. Rubbish or brilliant? That's my new thing. I'm going to use that. Nowhere in between. No. Rubbish or brilliant? Alright, so we'll we'll save this. So I'm just going to file and save as. Um, that's an auto save, so that's saving my read to file. But I'm gonna export it, and then I'm just going to select JPEG wherever you are. There you are. I mean, Sky JPEG. Excellent. And then save. Advanced quality. Here you can kind of, you know, don't worry about this. You don't need to really, but you can. So save it change. as a JPEG, huh? Yeah, save it as a JPEG. And okay. now what I'm going to do to get it into Altspace, I am going to go to the Altspace website. So, let me just pull this up here, pull my browser. So I'm at um, this web address. You'll have to log in if you're not logged in. If This is if you want to do it. I'm going to put this web address. In there, but it's just the Altspace VR website. You go to the skyboxes and then create, and then you give it a name. Um, 360 image is the image that we've just made. Mm -hmm. So, and then this image here, this is like a preview image. So, when you go into your world editor menu, there's always kind of a preview, but I'm just gonna use the same one. And then you just click create skybox um, with wow. the advanced. It's as easy as that. Wow. Um, yeah. And once you've done that, you can click edit and share it with friends. Um, so I wanted to share it with somebody. Now I can do that. And then you got friends list there. Let's see, Interesting. you click drop down and add them to it. Um, and then that will appear in there menu so I've done that one. Let's open up alt space. Right. And we'll just go to a random world and see what it looks like. <laughs> see what is trying to open up. <laughs> there we go. Alt space for you. Excellent. <laughs> Great. The main menu. My worlds. Let's go to one I can actually edit. I'm going to have to click this a million times. Still, still not good enough. All right. Uh, maybe we'll go into none of those. <laughs> <laughs> Green screen room, Rassy Mano. Oh, like we got um all the old ones. I do have like a test world, blender items test. Let's just go into this one. This is just random, random test stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is um iceberg. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that was a painting I did wow. that I just turned into a skyboard but. The moment of truth. Rubbish or brilliant? So Put in your so votes, everybody. <laughs> I'm just gonna go like this. Edge world, edge panel, mine, skyboxes. This is where it'll appear. 
Oh, there it is. It's the last one. There it is. Moon Sky. Wait for it to end. Wow. Oh, brilliant. Ooh, that's super cool. And that oh, planet is super stretched. We need to do something about uh, that. The, <laughs> but still. the egg became more egg like. Yeah, it's yeah, even more egg like. Yeah. But, but still, super but yeah. cool. Yeah. Super some, cool. Lots of random stuff in this one. That's when we made the last supper. And wow. I was like, oh no. <laughs> So keep your eye out. We're going to somehow have one of these sermons on the moon one of these days. The Teller with the heart on Twitch. What's up, Tally? My long lost buddy. Welcome. And you can... So if you were high up off a cliff, you might see down in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't cool, really see much. So cool. I see what you're saying about the mountains. Like you're you're barely like the yeah. horizon. You got some decent hills there. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. They do come come through. Yeah. And that's yeah. that purple stuff up there is that line we drew across the top of the sky. This one. That purple, that flower that it kind of made in the sky. That was the. That's cool. Yeah, and there's a shooting star. There's a other little dots. Yeah. So, definitely like a bad it. idea to squish that one. <laughs> probably if it was, if the planet was here somewhere, it'd probably be squished the other way. But, um. So I now that you, now that you flattened it and did all that, you can't like go in there and fix it, right? Or do you have just just to paint over it? Like so, let's um, say you can paint over it, but I can also go into Photoshop. If I open up Photoshop, we can we can do something to it. We can we can fix it. <laughs> well, you know you don't have to fix it, but I was just curious how to. Yeah, so you can just paint over it. Um, but try. We get Photoshop up. There we go. So, what I can do is I can go filter, liquefy, um, and that also brings it up on my other screen. <laughs> so, what I can do is it lets me zoom in. I can kind of do this. Whoa. Yeah. Creator won't let you liquefy? Um, no, this is a Photoshop thing. I see, I see. I mean, you can blend in stuff, but it doesn't come out smooth like that. So. Whoa. So, if I squish it the other way. And then maybe re-upload it, it might look better. But... Dang, looks good. Yeah. See, it's squished now. <laughs> and you can also do that if your like, mountains are too tall or too short or um, anything. So just save. It's the JPEG. And the good thing about Photoshop is it tells you um, when you're saving it, it will tell you what the file size is likely going to be. So if you're going to upload it and you need it in a world with a main event then you know it's a good prediction it's a good predictor because otherwise you save it and then you have to check the file size but you can check the file size and adjust the quality based on what you need the file size to be because there's a limit <laughs> hmm. all these limits limits and constraints yeah, yeah. Some yeah, so I'm just uploading this quickly if you're wondering what I'm doing. I mean, I'm gonna open up alt space again, and then we'll see if that helps. If whatever I did just helped. 
we'll have a look. Brilliant. <laughs> When I was uh, first interacting with um, press from the United Kingdom or England, uh, I wasn't used to, of course, I knew they say brilliant, but I wasn't used to them saying brilliant for every word. So when I was talking to them, they're like, oh, Pastor Soto is brilliant, brilliant there. We did. And, and I was like, <laughs> we did like, wow. And I was like, man, dang, uh -huh. yeah, this is, yeah. I felt You're very really special. You're really doing some pretty awesome. <laughs> but I, it's, like, it's like using the word cool here in the US. Like, oh, that's cool. Well, that's brilliant. Because we only we yeah, don't use the word brilliant. Photo is brilliant. Ooh, that sandwich <laughs> is brilliant. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. I was like, I always feel special talking to them. Mm. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. See, it looks like it's still squished, but it's... I think, I'm not sure if it's as bad, <laughs> but it's still squished quite a bit. That's the problem with pitting stuff high up. You don't mm -hmm. want to pit stuff high up. So, do, do you think comparison. if it was if it was lower on the horizon, it would be less squished? Is what you're saying? Yes. I see. I if it was lower see. on the horizon, it would be less morphed. I see. Uh, because it kind of pulls everything up into like imagine the top and the bottom of your world, or the top and the bottom of the horizon being like a black hole mm -hmm. that kind of sucks everything. That's the second one. I mean. So I was wondering when you originally painted that, you, you did you painted it so that it had somewhat of an egg shape. So should you yeah. have gone the opposite and instead of egg shape, gone somewhat of a yeah. wish circle? Um, possibly it depends where it is. <laughs> and it's hard yeah, to tell until you get it in the horizon. Space. Yeah, yeah, and also where on the horizon it is as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Because if you no. noticed, uh, that kind of the grid I showed you had kind of these curves. Um, if I can get it up. So, like, I guess it'd be more stretched up here and less here on the image. Yeah, that's complicated, yeah. man. <laughs> it kind of because if you think this is your front panel, and then how cool well, would it be though if that image like... that we're looking at right now can be overlaid what you're painting so you can see it over? Oh, you can. And you can do that. Before. So you know how I brought it into Krita. You could always pin it on top, and um, I mean in Photoshop. If I open it, oh. that's just all. Oh, are you like? Are you gonna like make it a layer, but before you merge it, delete that layer? Uh, yeah. So what you can do is, my pen does not work in Photoshop for some reason at the moment. Um, you can put that on here. If I zoom out. What I can do is I can so you can put it on top as a layer on top, hmm. and obviously delete it before saving yeah. the final one. But here, where you change how it makes, you can change it to darken so the grid only shows up dark. Oh, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Color burn. No, and yet you can change this so you can see change how it appears on top. Uh, of so it. it's right on those lines crisscrossing. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah on those crisscrossing lines. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And you see, I've only just gone above the horizon there. So wow! You can see the horizon. Look how the small those yeah. bands are, and how it conveys in VR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wow. really different. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. That's that's how I do it. I'm sure there's easier ways, but <laughs> Wow, Alice. Is that the um is that the ending? There? Yeah. Is that is there any other um <laughs> is there any questions? 
Yeah, I was about to say, if this is the end, let's do Q&As. And, and before we do the Q&As, hey, Alice, thank you so much. Woo! Yeah. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> yeah. Q&A time. Anybody on Twitch got a question? That's the awkward moment when everyone's left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody has a question. No, yeah, uh, nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so let me think. I'll, I'll get it started. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just taking it all in now. What are my questions? I think I don't think I really have questions. More of just a thought that I, it's like anything. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Um, mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be as detailed and complicated because you just you know laid out some sky and some ground. Some sh little shadow effect. I feel like most people can do this. Like, we mm -hmm. can just make a simple skybox. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, it's more detailed ones, but. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's just, yeah, a matter of practicing it now. Yeah. yeah. If we make one and put it up in alt space, would you critique it for us? Um, I can do. <laughs> <laughs> but if you make one, we got, we got to use it in a VR church build one day. So you better make it. Good. <laughs> make one you're proud of. Make one you're proud of, and then we can, we can use in a build. We can use in a world. So, teacher, are you saying this is our homework this week and create a skybox? Yeah. Sure sounds like it. Because yeah. I'd love to be able to say, hey, Carol made this skybox, or hey, actually, Alina painted this skybox, because people keep. Every week I get questions about a skybox, and I'm like, hey, did, hey, did you make this skybox? Did, yeah, and I'd love to yeah. say it had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Me again. Any questions on Twitch or Discord? Got any questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. I actually oh, managed just... to, to pull together a quick thing. So, uh, Alice, try this one out. This amazing work of art I just did in like five minutes. <laughs> Where'd you post it at? Oh, no, let me Do post me. that in All the right. space thingy. You DM'd me it, so call this quick and dirty background. Okay. <laughs> so, did you put it in alt space? He, yep. he sent it to me, um... In yeah, but it, it's also on the Alt Space uh, channel. Oh, that's oh. actually really good, coldest. Whoa. No, it's really not, honestly. But, uh... Hey, Alice, it's can nice. you can you throw that in yeah. real quick, just to, just for kicks? I can I can throw it in Alt Space. Yeah. So I'd be it curious. looks it looks cool, but it might have a few problems. One of it being it's not quite seamless, but we can right, change right. that. But we can change that. We can. But just curious to pop it in and just. Yeah. I think, mm, wow. I, I, I think I managed to to upload it to Allspace. Yeah. As a skybox. That is the, the URL. I don't know if you can use that or you need to upload the thing I, for yourself. I need to upload it for myself. For now, there is an MRE where I can use it if you shared it but <laughs> um i will just reopen all space again and then a mm. little pitch your skybox in fascinating it looks it looks nice and nice textures there yeah, I'm realistic clouds oh, well the, now that i think about it i can go into edit mode Editor yeah. thingy, skybox. Second, just a second. Yeah, so you can totally go and see yourself, but I've just uploaded it to see what I can, what I can see. See what I see. Oh, oh! Do you like it? Oh! You're like impressed. <laughs> oh, oh! Really? I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. So, so no. Yeah, no I haven't seen it please. yet either. Oh, no reactions. <laughs> no reactions. Be 
Let's see, coldest. Then we get coldest. Let's go. Ahead, moment of truth. Dun, 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 oh, look, you can see how you've painted those stars. Oh, nice. Look, there's your clouds. That's looking <laughs> nice, actually. The vortex. Oh, you see, that's the, that's the only little problem there. I'd rub that bit out. But wow. other than that. Looking wow, nice. Cole, that's, that's not shabby at all. Well, not bad for being done in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, for real. Wow. Good enough. We'll fly up. So, yeah, okay. so we know where the line is. Let's critique this, see if there's anything along the line. Oh, yeah, we got a hard line there. <laughs> so, just. There are many things wrong, actually, with it. <laughs> but. Yeah, but still, well, it's great. It's five minutes. If we're looking, if we're yeah. looking straight ahead. I'm impressed. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm coldest. That's GGs. Great. <laughs> GGs. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. You see the black hole. The black, <laughs> the hole. black hole. The vortex. <laughs> the black hole. Reminds me of angels' wings. Mm. It looks like a flower to oh. me. Yeah, I can see that. I can see both. I see a vortex. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Anybody else made one? Don't be shy. Who made one? We're gonna look. We're gonna plug it in. Don't hide it. I came in late and I delivered. <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked, boys. You're the only one that's done your homework, coldest. You get a gold star. Maybe, maybe you can have this one here that's in the center. Yeah, okay, that's your star. Coldest. <laughs> the coldest. All right, friends. Well, I have to oh, go boy. head. Oh, oh, there is. Speaking of coldest, well. there is coldest. How did coldest <laughs> get in my? <laughs> you found me. I must be Mark was online. Uh, uh, you have to go see it in person. <laughs> Looks really good. So cool. All right, my friends. Well, I have to to go. So I'm gonna. Should I end this? Can I end the stream, Alice, or do you anything else you wanted yeah. to mention? You can. No, yeah. I think that's 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 it. And this, I don't think anyone has any questions. Well, uh, you guys can keep chatting, um, but I'm gonna go mute, um, but and end the stream. But yeah, thanks, Alice, so much. All right, appreciate that. Cheers. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 My mind. Well, how's everybody doing? All right, Twitch, catch you later. It's a good tutorial by Alice.